What's up, comic book junkies? Welcome to Night Tiger Comics. I'm here in the lair, AK, the comic book room, and I think I have some pretty cool stuff to show you. A couple things from the collection that I haven't shown in ages, years. And also, there was a half off sale this weekend at my LCS for back to school. Went there, spent 75 bucks. Uh, picked up some stuff the week before, so let me get into this. Let me start out with some books from the collection. Let me know if you think this stuff is cool, what you like, if you want to see more. And let me apologize. The secret contest is still going on. And know it's taking forever, guys, but I want to get to it. And I got new prizes. Some of them are in here for the next one. Okay, uh, these I got out of a dollar bin, I think like four or five years ago. But this, uh, they had almost the whole run of heavy metal for a dollar a piece. I picked up some Frank Frazetta covers with inter and a Frank Frazetta interview issue. And this is number one from April 1977. Man, that glare sucks. But you know what this is. You've seen it before. I, I great copy. But not only that, it was like a couple months before. So it must have been the same guy come in and selling. They had all the epics for a dollar. This is number one. I got number one, number two, and another issue. I think it's a Frank Pizzetta cover. And this is from 1980. Spring 1980. Epic number one. One of these has a, I think it's number two, I'm not sure. I don't remember. It has the uh, finishing up on a Silver Surfer story. So it's really cool. So I just, I got this, I think I got this last year for like uh, 200 bucks. See this book in the same grade for around 400 commonly. So I grabbed it. First appearance of Dane Whitman. It's a 4.0, so not bad. Uh, what else? But very cool. It's kind of on the hype. I mean, I don't like to pay big money for Marvel keys, but... Now I have it in the collection. And one more thing before we get to new stuff. A huge book that I got years ago. I won on auction, I think, for like 250 bucks. Smash Comics, number 17, featuring The Ray. And this is also a little fine art cover and interior on The Ray. And what else we got? It's it says, uh, poo poo, signed as E. Lectin. I don't know what that means. Gil, Gil, uh, Fox cover, December 1940. You got some cool stuff going on over here. You got Bozo the Robot. It's not his first appearance, but very cool to have anyway in the collection. Okay, so the weekend before, last weekend, I went to the LCS to get bags and boards or something like that. And uh, Wait a minute, before I get there, someone's playing a cruel joke on me, but I think it's just Falco Meister on Instagram. He, win he lives in Germany, and he just enters tons of contests. So he prize tags me and a couple other people when they don't ship to the States. So I, got I was wondering why I got this, because I... I detest this character. Major X number six. So that's going to be going in a prize package. If you're a fan of Major X by Rob Liefeld. Uh, this is a key, but not. it's not worth anything. It's about three, two or three first appearances, I think, of Wookiee, somethings, or others. That's number one, Star Wars Life Day. Uh, first appearance of Buryaga Agaburi. Nibisak and Reg Bro Brosna. 
So it says Key Comic right there. So that was a giveaway. I got that. He also sent me this. This is pretty cool. I put it in a Mylar. I might prize it, but I like it. It's kind of a negative variant. Yeah, I know. But uh, So that came to me after I just did an Instagram uh, uh, video on these ver these uh, blank, whatever they call them, negative variants. I don't, at the, the initial ones were cool, but it's like now it's like, it's just a novelty now. It's like cheapened, you know? I don't think they're that good. Uh, okay, so last weekend I went to the LCS and picked up a few things. I had a few bucks. I can't remember, like eight bucks or something. So I was like, what can I get for eight bucks? I got a couple comics. So I, I did buy a new one. My first time buying a new comic in eight months. Dark Droids number one. I just like the movie poster of it. I saw Star Wars in the theater as a kid, the first one, the second one, the third one in the 80s, 70s. So it really spoke to that. And uh, this book is just so high grade. It's a new stand. It's from 1990. I didn't even know they had this. Movie special, the official adaptation of the Carloco movie by Elliot S. Majin and Tom Lai, Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger photo cover. That cover is just cool. And it's really high grade. This book's like a 9.8. It has a, like little indentions, not too many, that could be pressed out. Other than that, there's not a flaw in this book. And it's a new stand. Ooh. What else? Uh, so this book, this book was pretty high grade, like... VF, it had a spine roll in it, so I was like, I'll press it up and it'll be nice. Well, my press isn't the best, it's pretty low grade, cheap ass press. So I was sitting there with it in the press, and I'm reading and I'm hearing click, 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 and I'm thinking, the press isn't on, I even look, and the light was off. So I'm like, but then I got up and I'm like, holy crap, it was on because one of there's two lights and one went out. So this book, it got a little too hot, and uh, some of the ink uh, stuck to the parchment paper. But even, this was two bucks for Silver Age Flash, and it still looks really nice. I mean, if I hadn't done that, this book would look really nice, grading nice, if I graded it. that makes any sense to anybody. So the last book I got, I think I had 18 bucks to spend. It's a pretty nice copy of this Bernie Wrightson werewolf cover on Weird Mystery Tales number 21. That's from August 73 or 2, I'm not sure. But that, it could be 74. Bernie Wrightson it was 10 bucks. And it was in really decent shape. It's definitely probably like a 6570, maybe 75. So that's a prize. That's going on the wall. I, I just found this book. It was in like a sideways in one of my um, Bronze Age, Silver Age boxes of comics. So I thought I'd show it. It's a little great copy. It's just cool. Fox Western Killers. The only thing with these Fox uh, comics, they're cool, but you see how it says true stories? They actually make it, it, they take it from a true story and they adapt it like word for word. It's like tons of dialogue and, and crammed in these panels. The art's pretty decent, but it's like so crammed there's a lot of dialogue. Because they really wanted, I guess they really wanted to make it authentic like to the story. And, and it can get really tedious trying to read these. Okay, so they had a half off sale for four days or the whole week or something like that. Back to school, all back issues half off. So I spent 75. Uh, new comics obviously weren't half off, but I bought another new comic, but I just couldn't pass this photo cover up. It reminds me of um, Black Widow cover on one of her miniseries. It's really cool. I'm sure you see the coolness in that. Scarlet Culture. So that's number one. I guess it's a second series or something. Now this book was uh, 
I thought I had it, but I had to grab it. It was 50 cents. Now it has, it was rolled. You can see the roll in it. But all I gotta do is press that out and that book is immaculate. That's Batman number 338 for 50 cents from 1980. It's probably 83, 82, something like that, 81. I think it's 81. Now this next book was 50 cents. And I'm like, I'm not leaving that there for for 50 cents. It's all there. It's complete. It's attached. I mean, it's low grade, but Flash, number 148. Nice Captain Boomerang on the cover. Carmen Infantino art. Early, I mean, not early Flash, but pretty early. 1964. So what is that? It was seven years he was around. That was 50 cents. Then this book was low grade, and you know, I went back and forth on this because it's missing piece of the cover and it has a little like bug chew cover corner off it. But the, the the idea of the story and the cover is just so cool, I couldn't leave it. And it was only well, how much was this book? Uh, 350 so it was half off, seven bucks. Brave and the Bold, number 72, Flash vs. Spectre. And yeah, I mean, as low grade as that, and pieces missing, I still could. The cover's all there, and you know, I opened it up and looked inside, and, and the battle and the art looks so good. I'm like, I have to read this. I think it's, I think it's a really cool book. Three fifty. Now I already have this, but I'm gonna buy this book every time I can find it. What did I pay for this? I paid three bucks for this. But it's a um, Bronze Age superhero, Plastic Man, bondage cover. And I just love the whole concept of the cover. The way he's coming around the wall underneath the title. She's tied up on the ground. The villain is right there. And this is a high-grade copy for three bucks. Uh, this is number 12. It has every element that you just wanted a cool cover. Now I'm not particular to this to this Plastic Man run, but I'm noticing there are some issues, the early ones that have this this trade dress that look cool. Once they change the trade dress, I think like a few issues later, it it doesn't look as dynamic. They lose the banner. The banner really kind of adds to it. Okay, so I had other books. So you, if you're, you know how it is. You go in, you overstack, and then you sift at the end. And I thought I had what I was going to get. And I thought, let me go. I was doing all the DC checking. I usually switch off on different trips. So I went down to the A's, and I started going through Adventure Comics. I seen this. Uh, how much? This was five dollars before it, it the, before the discount of fifty percent off. So I'm like, there's something major wrong with this book, but I don't care. For $250, i am picking this thing up because the cover looked really good. Look at that book. So it's Adventure Comics 333, June 65. And I took it home and I finally inspected it and nothing is wrong with it. The pages are nice and subtle, almost white. And that black background, and it's usually these books are peat up. They have all kinds of uh, creasing wear all over them. This book hardly has any. It is gorgeous. So I'm like, okay. So I started. So I kept looking through Adventure. This one popped up. Now this one was more. This was twelve fifty. Early Legion. I didn't have it. It's got Bizarro on the cover. And it's a pretty decent copy. Like I said, both of these, usually these have tons of uh, creasing and reader wear. But then they have this one too. Same thing. Same nice condition. 322. This has legions of pets on it. It's like that homage to the first legion cover. How cool is that? You got Comet, Squeaky, Crypto, uh, what's the other, I forget the chimp's name, Cheapo or something like that, Be Bimbo, Beepo. 
but that was 10 bucks nice yellow cover and there was we got some keys coming uh, this is a book I've always wanted and I was gonna pass I passed on it before well it wasn't half off then but it's low grade but I thought you know if I wanted to buy this on eBay it probably would wouldn't pass on it but then I'd pay shipping so it'd be a lot more so it's go ahead and get it that's Superman 152 April 60 1962 robot cover x-ray vision cover robot cover has the whole cast of characters on it purple background nice big 12 cent box I mean this screams take me home put me in your collection and I'm love me forever <clears throat> Okay, so I've, I've been wanting to buy this book for the longest time. But you know how it is. Some of these keys, they're not major, but people ask too much. So you wait and you wait and you wait. So I waited. This one has, a, it's a low grade, but it presents really well. It has water damage, but you can't tell from the front. Uh, World's Finest, number 169. So this was 10 bucks, September 67. Third appearance of uh, Silver Age Batgirl. Kind of a iconic cover. So I was happy to get that. Oh, I put a ton of books back. So this was the biggest book of the of the haul or whatever you want to call it. I didn't have this. I thought I actually did, but uh, it's first Neil Adams on Dead Man, and actually. Well, he won an Alley Award for this cover of 1967. Look at the detail on the faces in the background. So that's first Neil Adams on the Dead Man cover. I think it's first Neil Adams on Dead Man, but it doesn't say that anywhere. Um, third appearance of Dead Man. And what else? I think that's all. This is number 207, December 67. I was glad to pick up his first appearance. Uh, I think it was last year. I've been after that book for 10 years. But we're just waiting for the right copy, you know. But this is a pretty gorgeous. It's definitely uh, f like a 4.5, 5.0, maybe 5.5. So it's pretty decent. No staining, no nothing. Just, you know, somewhere on the book. Happy to have that one. Okay, so I got a couple Golden Age books here, and we'll close it out. I know it's getting a little long. So I had some money. I had some books on my watch list. I'm a sucker for romance books. This one, I just love the cover. It was just so cool. It's, it was $12. These Atlas one-offs or two-issue runs are so cool. I mean, at that time, Martin Goodman was just throwing stuff against the wall, seeing what would sell, what wouldn't, canceling books, changing titles. So, My Own Romance, number eight, August 48. So, it's a Golden Age book. I mean, with shipping was 15 bucks, that's a Golden Age book? What the heck? I'll buy it. These are fun. They have these, like, Dear Abbeys and stuff in them, and fun facts and little stories. So this is a Harvey book, and um, I collect the Western theme romance to kind of go with my Western good girl collection that I'm building. And that one had a guy who looked like a, kind of like a cowboy with a horse in the stable. So I thought it was pretty cool. That's number 12. It's Golden Age, 1952, pre-code. I'll take it. And these are good. These are always fun. The stories are well written, too. Okay, the two biggest books. Um, hold on, I'm going to pause this for a minute. All right, I'm back. Probably going to edit that out. But anyway, so we got two books left. Now, this is a two-issue uh, by a small publisher. I don't know if it's the only thing they ever published, but the second one is number two. I found this, and I've always looked at this book, and it's usually a lot lower grade than this one, with more, and they want about, like 50 bucks or more. I pay 28 with shipping for this. It has a, it has a tear up here, but other than that, it's probably the best copy I've seen. And it's got a cool kind of World War II theme, funny animal, B29. 
nice red cover. I think it has some Nazis in it and stuff. Uh, so yeah, this was 1945. And it, it looks really nice. I want to put this up on the wall too. It's really cool. I love these comics from the war era. They're just all so cool. Okay, so I have this. I bought this a few years ago off my comic shop. Uh, they graded it like, a, I don't know, like a 1.5, but it's more like a 3.0. This fire here, number one, it's not the best rendition of her, but it's cool that it's fire hair comics. It's number one, nice yellow cover. And this is from, I don't even rem I don't have it in here written down. I think it's 48, but I finally found a, I, I, I found a second one for 25 bucks off my comic shop again. Um, this one's definitely was said it was a 1.0. <clears throat> could be a 1.8 it's got tape on it and stuff like that but it's complete and it was well shipping was 32 bucks so this one I paid with shipping like 55 but just a cool it's kind of a tough book to get I mean it's not um it's on the like lighter side of tough or it's not that scarce so, Fire Hero Comics number one, that's that's it. That's all I got. There's a receipt. Like, people show that receipt like you don't believe that they got it or they spent it. Well, thanks for hanging out. I'm trying to do more stuff for the channel, and I want to get that contest done soon. And I'm trying to get back on here. It's, it's a little tough. Being a responsible adult is tough because you got to put all that responsibility first and then play at the back end. And I didn't even get in this comic room till 1030 today after doing everything I had to do. That's the way it goes. All right. Night Tigers out. Peace. In the year of our Lord, 1975, a dark figure comes out of the night and into existence. Mark Spector, a deadly mercenary, hired by the mysterious committee to capture a werewolf. He is the moon.